Finally, throwing his hat in the ring after weeks of speculation, Mario Monti confirms he will run as Prime Minister in February's elections as the head of a centrist coalition. It is an attempt to break several obstacles, barriers and borders and to introduce new rules to aggregate political forces and civil society, finding those who are committed to reforms, overcoming the resistance of several lobbies to promote a change in the country. A week ago, Monti announced he would step down after 13 months of leading an unelected team of technocrats. He is credited with steering Italy out of financial crisis and restoring the country's credibility. Credibility badly damaged by his predecessor, Silvio Berlusconi, who he'll now face in February's vote. So far, Berlusconi's campaign to regain the top job is being overshadowed by his love life. Also running, Pierluigi Bersani, head of the left-wing Democratic Party. Analysts say the ballot papers will certainly be crowded. What looks like is that we are going to have a trilateral struggle with three uh, prime mini candidate prime ministers and with also some also other minor uh, lists uh, which are going to make the situation even more complex. Mario Monti is a senator for life, so he can't stand for office himself. Instead, Italians will vote for a party or coalition that he supports. He already has backing from on high. On Thursday, the Vatican newspaper said it embraced Monti's call for the most noble form of politics, to work for the common good. But support alone will not be enough. He has had the support, clear and explicit support of the Vatican and the church authorities here and other parts of, of Italian civil society. Uh, but he, he does not have the organization which it needs compared to the other political parties. Another term with Monti leading Italy would also please the Eurozone and calm financial markets. But he has just two months to convince the Italian electorate. Charlie Angela, Al Jazeera.